Sorbo's review a young woman speaks for the trees. You can take the girl out of the woods, but you can't take the woods out of the girl unless, of course, you take the woods away altogether. Such are the tough lessons learned in the Torbos, a satisfying marriage of folky period romance and environmental parable from the misty, mossy depths of South Africa's Nisna Forest region a national beauty spot much enshrined in local literature and lore, but rarely given this kind of grand-scale screen showcase. René Van Ruyen's handsome Afrikaans language drama is adapted from the last in a celebrated quartet of a forest novels by the late Daily Mathi, an author whose renown abroad has never quite matched her national treasure status at home. But is this arthouse fair as internationally accessible as it is locally evocative, unsurprisingly selected as this year's official South African Oscar submission? The South African National Parks Board is listed as a producing partner on the Torbos, no surprise, given how much of a starring role the country's verdant, enveloping garden route is given in the film, with cinematographer Brendan Barnes painting the leafy landscape in practically every shade of mushroom and celadon known to the human eye. The title translates, roughly, as a dream forest, or magic forest, though any brushes of magical realism in Van Ruyen's treatment of Mathie's novel are both sparse and ambiguous. Still, an otherworldly shimmer descends whenever the action returns to the gnarled labyrinth of soaring stinkwoods, yellowwoods and outaniqua trees where protagonist Carolina Cap de Elani Decker was born and raised, her place her stubborn soul remains even as circumstances force her to leave. Just shy of her 18th birthday, when the story begins in 1933, the independent, green-fingered Carolina is something of an outsider even within her already marginalized circle of Nisna Bosmans, forest people, an impoverished white community regarded with a mixture of scorn and pity by the residents of neighboring towns, who are hardly cosmopolitan city slickers themselves. Her widowed mother Iai Blankenberg is eager for Carolina, who makes a paltry living offering forest tours to visitors to escape their world. When handsome, sharp-suited shopkeeper Johannes Estean Smith, a former Bosman's made good in town, stops by and sets his sights on the naive teen, her future is all but written. With little choice in the matter, she accepts his marriage proposal, moving out of the forest and into a solemn, stifling spin on a Pygmalion housed, clothed and educated in matters of urban etiquette by prim chaperone Miss Muster, a Claire Marshall, the human sprite becomes a lady even as the life drains out of her wide eyes. Van Ruyen's economical adaptation respects the nuanced feminism of Mathie's novel Carolina is a frustrated victim of the patriarchal norms of her era, but Johannes isn't a one-note monster or master. His unimaginative sense of male entitlement is occasionally disrupted by sparks of enlightenment, as in one atypically tender, good-humored scene where he teaches his shy bride to drive. A lack of understanding, rather than kindness, is his chief failure. In the forest, I'm the truth, in the town, I'm a lie, she tells him, while he remains perplexed that anyone could prefer the former. Multiple forces conspire against her simple impulse to return. In the distance, the Second World War is brewing, setting Johanna's life on a different course, while closer to home, the forests themselves are under threat the South African government has plans to rehouse the Bosmans in soulless peripheral townships, enabling wide-scale plans to deforest the region and replant it with non-indigenous trees. The uprooting of a deeply embedded landscape and population alike is depicted with mournful power, underlined with a somewhat heavy hand by Andrew Smith's pretty, plangent score. There's subtle irony in the tragedy of Carolina's people, who originally came to the area as wood-cutting settlers of Dutch origin, being turfed out as the region is recolonized with alien vegetation, though Van Ruyen's screenplay keeps its political illusions implicit. For all its intriguing socio-geographic contours, Torbos it keeps its focus intimately on Carolina's passage into womanhood over the course of a decade. It's a conventional trajectory that nonetheless offers nourishing emotional rewards, the same goes for the unsentimental, hard-won romance at the story's center. Okay, if you like this video don't forget to click like and comment down below. See you in the next video.